Hello everyone and welcome to episode one of my new Minecraft Electrical Age mod tutorial. Now, this Electrical Age mod, um, I have done a tutorial on it before, except except I've just kind of I've just kind of fixed some mistakes I made in that one, tried to make it easier to understand as well. Yeah. So yeah, so Electrical Age is it's a it's an electricity mod, basically, as the name might say, um, and it's tries to it tries to simulate real life ish electricity in Minecraft, and I think it does a pretty good job of it. Um, but in doing so, it means it's complicated. Um, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. But yeah, so um, yeah, and just some other information. Um, the download for the mod will be in the, the description of this video as well as the download link for this um, tutorial world. I have made a download link for that if you want to play this world and yeah, just kind of look around for yourself. And no, I do not know where the texture on that glass went. Yes, there is glass up there. No, it does not have a texture. Why? I don't know. Um, yeah, so let's just get into it. So um, to start with, this mod ha has four ores it generates. Well, it seems only three of the four ores will generate into the world. Now, the first one, and the least rare of them, is, is copper. Now you can see this ore does not kind of follow the standard Minecraft ore, like where it look, well, well, how it looks. Like the standard Minecraft ore, like if you look at the iron and gold ore, they all kind of follow the same pattern. Well, this ore, it kind of has to choose a different pattern of ore, like the actual ore spots show up. And I like that, I like it. So this is copper ore, it's well, it's copper color um, and yeah so it's not too rare uh, after I finish showing off the ores I will go a bit more in-depth on how easy they are to find and not really how easy but the rarities of them um, yeah so then the next ore we have which is just more which is more rare than copper is lead and it well it looks like this um, Yep, so it's lead. It's it's pretty rare. It's not that rare, but it's pretty rare. Now this is tungsten. Now this is pretty rare. Um, you will have some time, some hard time finding this. Um, yep. And then this is cinnabar ore. Now, from what I have found, it does not seem like this actually spawns into the world, which I don't know if that's proper or that's what's supposed to happen. That might be... It, I mean, the ore itself right now, it's basically used for nothing. So that might be why it doesn't spawn in, and that might be changed earlier. And yes, this mod, before the mod was not being worked on, the mod is now being worked on again, which that's pretty nice. That's pretty good. Now let's just take a look at the ores here. So it's pretty simple, just copper ore in a furnace smelts into one copper ingot. Uh, lead ore smelts into lead ingots and tungsten ore smelts into tungsten ingots. Now, before we continue on into this dark, spoopy hallway, um, let's just go into a separate world where I can show you the ore generation. Okay, so this world might look pretty normal, but if we just kind of hop down here, you can see that I have made a massive hole in the world um, to kind of show how the ore generates. So let's just take a look around here. Let's just give ourselves some night vision Just to make it a bit easier to see um, There we go So you can see we got some copper ore Generating around here now you can see this stuff is not it's not too rare You can see this it's all on here. I can say it's it seems to be comparable to iron in terms of rarity now next we have lead now you can see it doesn't see uh why is there a skeleton there it's set to peaceful you shouldn't be there whatever um yeah so let's just take a look at where's some lead where's some lead am i just not seeing it or oh there's some lead so there's some lead there so you can see it's it's much more rare than copper um but it's still, it's, you're gonna, it might be tricky to find, but, um, yeah. Okay, then. 
Okay, skeletons playing portal. Um, nice. So, yes, that's some lead ore down there. Now, if you take a look around here, you might see some, you can see lead, you can see copper. Now, tungsten. Now, tungsten is quite rare. I even think it's, I think the tungsten might be more rare than diamond because you can see there's some diamond there, there's some diamond there, there's some diamond there, but no tungsten. Um, there is some tungsten right there. Uh, let's take a look here. Is there any more tungsten? Um, doesn't seem like it. Oh wait, no, there's some more there. And there's some there. So it's pre it's pretty rare, the tungsten. Now why can't I see through here? Oh yeah, shaders. Um, yeah, just never mind that. Um, yeah, so I dug, th I made this giant trench in the world to attempt to find some cinnabar ore. And I cannot find a single, that's just copper. I cannot find a single block of cinnabar ore. Um, yeah. So I don't think it spawns into the world. It might just be I got unlucky, but it seems like it doesn't actually generate into the world. Because if we go to cinnabar over here, there we go. Um, you can see it's basically uses um, the only thing you can really do with it is grind it up. Um, the only let's just go down here. Yeah, the only really thing you can do is grind it up into the dust, which you can then make mercury out of. And it even says there, it's useless. Um, you can use it in place of some of mercury and some other mods. There's some more tungsten, but yeah. So that's why I think the cinnabar doesn't actually exist in the world it exists but it just doesn't generate so let's go back to the actual tutorial world now okay so now we're back in the tutorial world and why don't you have a texture okay there we go and it's gone again i i i, I don't know um yeah okay so before we go into this dark spooky hallway let's just kind of turn the lights on there we go so that's one of the main things I like about this mod is the lighting. That's one of the main reasons I use it. Now I'll, ex I'll explain in an another episode how this whole, s how that worked, how that switch there turned on these lights. But yeah, so let's just head up to the surface. There we go. So this video might be around like just maybe like an hour, maybe just under an hour long. I, I don't know. I'm going to try and make it so I did try and cram a lot of stuff into this one episode, but uh, I'll try and make it so other episodes aren't nearly as long. But yeah, so let's just start with some other stuff. So in terms of natural resources, I just discussed the kind of ore, um, but now there's another type of natural resource and this is tree resin. Now tree resin comes from, well, trees. And to get it out of the tree, you need a collector. So this is the tree resin collector and it's just crafted like this. It's just four oak wood in this kind of shape. Uh, yeah, you can switch it around. So, yeah. So that's the tree resin collector. Now, before I continue on, you can see, oh, why didn't that do anything? Um, there we go. So you can see uh, the mod does offer quite a lot of stuff in terms of what there is in it as well as it just provides a lot of stuff like for to be creative in general, just to kind of, yeah, it's quite fun. But yeah, so these tree resin collectors, basically you put them on a tree and then they'll slowly fill up with the tree resin. So if we just right click on this here, you can see we have tree resin, some more tree resin. Now let's just put one of these on the tree. So you can see when you put it on the tree, it starts at a zero and it will, slowly tick up. Now once it reaches one, it will be full and you'll get like, it seems like you'll get about two tree resin. And as far as the, as far as the mod cares, you can just do something like this to like an entire forest of trees to get all the tree resin you would ever need. You can just make an entire forest of like tree resin trees. Um, but you can place the tree, tree resin collectors on just wood blocks, but from what I have found is they will not actually fill up. Um, 
and you know which kind of sucks for a reason I'm gonna about to show now. Um, these are just there. Uh, these are just here to suck up the seeds from this thing. Now this is one of the dynamic tree trees. They look pretty neat. Um, but with these, you can't actually place a, um, the tree resin collectors on these things, even when they're fully grown. Um, so what I used to do, like if you if these um, if you don't have any vanilla trees in your world and you only have these, you can't actually get your tree resin. Um, so what I used to do is I would just break them and place the wood blocks back down and then collect the resin off of those, but that doesn't that doesn't work anymore. It did work at some point, but not anymore. Um, yeah, uh, I do have a little clip here. Um, so th in this clip, um, you can see the tree, you can use the tree resin collectors on a biome of plenty trees. So if you're playing with biomes of plenty and there's like, let's say like a giant redwood tree, those will collect, a, um, you will be able to collect your tree resin off of those. So that's nice. Now, so what to do with this tree resin? Well, pretty much put it in a furnace and get yourself some rubber. So one tree resin equals one rubber. And now this rubber is used for a lot of stuff in the mod. It's used for basically everything. Like basically everything uses the rubber in some way or another. I mean, some of the stuff doesn't, but a lot of it does. Now, yeah, so that's the kind of natural resources and stuff done. Um, so yeah, so this mod does offer some tools. Um, these are, so it offers like, it offers more tools. Like, let's say there's flashlights and drills and like even x-ray scanners. Um, but I'm not gonna go through those yet because you need a way to power them and like, yeah, I'll, I'll get to those once I kind of get to the power and stuff like that. So yeah, so you can craft tools out of the copper and it's basically identical to iron in terms of the tools. So of course, they're all crafted like normal. So the sword, the shovel, the ax, the pickaxe and the hoe, as well as there's also armor. So like we have a copper helmet, which is basically identical to, yeah. So durability 165, 165, yeah. So the copper armor and the copper tools are basically identical to iron. And if you have a surplus of copper and you're running low on iron, like I do all the time, then making some copper tools and stuff like that instead of iron might not be too bad of a, um, might not be too bad of an idea. So yeah, so let's move on from the tools and the armor and stuff like that. Let's get into uh, one of my favorite parts of this mod, which is the lighting. Now, as you can see here, there is many different types of lamp socket for you to use to light up your Minecraft world, but um, they do require electricity and stuff like that because, well, they're electric lights, and they do do the lights do do something special. Um, I'll get into that later. So let's just start going through how to craft these things. So this is the robust lamp socket, and it looks like a caged lamp. It's pretty neat. I like this one, um, and it's just crafted using two glass panes and an iron ingot. Now this is the flat lamp socket and it's crafted using two iron and one glass pane. Um, and yeah, it looks like this. It's well, a flat lamp socket. Um, then this is the simple lamp socket and it's crafted using one iron and three glass panes. Um, now all of these things, if you hold shift on them, you can see it says spot range. I will get into that uh, later on the other side of that wall right there. Um, yeah, so, yeah. So this is the fluorescent lamp socket and it doesn't use any glass panes. It's just three iron ingots and it looks like this. And when you put a, when you put a bulb in it, it actually gets, it gets like a little fluorescent tube in there, which I think is kind of neat. Um, yeah, so this is the street light, which is, it's a bit different from the other lights and that it's not placed on a wall or ceiling or floor, it's well placed on the ground like a street light. So yeah, that's the street light. And this is crafted using two iron and one glass pane. Now, right now, as of now, if you don't have any other mods installed, you can't technically craft this lamp. This is the, I don't know how to say, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not good with the words. 
Yeah, but yeah. So it's crafted using four glass panes, one iron ingot, and one coal dust. And the reason you can't craft it now is because you need a way to get the coal dust. And yeah. So, but that actually gives you two of them. Yeah, and they look like this. They look, they look pretty neat. I like how they look. Yeah. So now these two here are also kind of special. These are the suspended lamp sockets, and this is the smaller lamp. Uh, suspended lamp socket and it's crafted using one iron and one robust lamp socket a robust lamp socket is that one um, yeah so and it's well this one's a bit special because it's placed on the ceiling only and it well it hangs down and it's got this little hanging swinging lamp on the bottom which I think is kind of cool now from what I what I found it seems that the thing actually swin swings a bit more when you run by them or when you move by them it might just be me, but it certainly does seem like that. Yeah, I, that's that's pretty neat. Um, yeah. So then there's, of course, the longer lamp socket, which is crafted. And you do get two of these per craft. Uh, this one's crafted using two iron ingots and one robust lamp socket. That gives you the longer one, which is basically identical to the smaller one, except it's, well, it's longer. Then we got these lamps here. These I, I don't like the best just kind of because of their kind of, I don't know how to put it, old school texture, if that makes any sense. Um, like these ones, they're all like nice 3D models and stuff like that. And this is just using the kind of just flat 2D stuff. But hopefully in the future they're, um, they're updated to look a bit different, especially this one because of its functionality. I'll get into that one in a bit. Um, so yeah, why can't I get back through here? Okay, there we go. So this one, this is lamp socket A, and it's crafted using one iron ingot and three glass panes. And it, well, it looks like this. Um, it still looks okay when placed on the ceiling, but I do think it needs kind of like a new texture, or not really mo texture, but model, it needs a new model. And this one is lamp socket B projector, and this one's different. Um, they look the same, but they function differently. So, yeah, so this one is crafted using three iron ingots and one glass pane, and you get three of them. Same with this one, you get three at once. So yeah, so now you got your lamp sockets. Now I'll show all of these functioning later on. Um, again, on the other side of that wall there. Um, yeah, so now you have all your lamp sockets. You need some way to connect them together and power them. Now, so, what you can do is you can pretty much put three of these copper ingots in a row and you'll get six of these copper cables. Now you want to insulate them so you can use that rubber from before and insulate the copper cable to make low voltage cable. Now there's multiple types of low of cables. So I'm just showing the low voltage cable because that's all we're going to be using for now. Um, but there's four different types. Uh, there's low voltage, medium voltage, high voltage, and very high voltage. Um, yeah. So there's also an alternative crafting recipe for these where it's basically uh, six rubber and three copper ingots to get six um, six low voltage cables at once. And the cables, well, they look like this. They're a cable. Placing them on the own will just go like that and they'll kind of extend by that. So they look at, these are, they look pretty neat. The cables in this mod look pretty cool. Um, there's some other stuff you can do with the cable in terms of like covering them up and changing their color and stuff like that. I'll get into that at the end of this episode. Um, yeah, so now you have your lamp sockets and the wire to connect them together, and that's that's just a bug with one of the other mods I'm using currently. Um, yeah, so let's move on. So you got your wire to connect them, you got your lamp sockets. Now you actually need some light bulbs. So these are all the light bulbs in the game, except for one. Um, once I show all of these, once I'll explain why um, I'm missing one. But yeah, so. This is the small 50 volt carbon incandescent bulb. And this is the smallest and the smallest bulb you can make, well, in terms of like lighting and stuff like that. It's, it's also kind of the cheapest. It's basically just one copper cable, three glass panes, and one coal gives you four of these small carbon incandescent bulbs. Now, there, it does have an alternative recipe where you can replace the coal with charcoal, and other than that, it's basically the same. Now these are 50 volt carbon incandescent bulbs. Now they're the not small version, they're normal sized. 
Now, the difference between these ones and that one is that um, you use the low voltage cable instead of just the copper cable. And holding shift on the light bulb, it gives you some info so you can see the technology is incandescent. Its range is 11 blocks. It shows you the amount of power it consumes. It shows you its resistance in ohms. And then it shows you the nominal lifetime. I don't think those are real life hours. I think those are like in-game hours. But if those are real life hours, then I um yeah, I know these things will last basically forever. Um yeah, I don't think they're real life hours though. Um yeah, so let's move on to the carbon incandescent bulbs. So you can see they gain an extra two two blocks of range. Um they do consume some more power, so these things are consuming 25 watts of power, their resistance is 100 ohms. And their nominal lifetime, I believe, is basically the same, yes. Yes, and these do have an alternative recipe where you can replace the charcoal with, I mean, you can replace the coal with charcoal. Um, yeah. So this is the small 50 volt incandescent light bulb. Now it's crafted in using tungsten instead of uh, coal or charcoal. And other than that, it's basically crafted the same. So three glass panes, one tungsten, one copper. It ha does not have any alternative recipes. Um, let's go over the stats. So technology is incandescent. Its range is 12 blocks. Um, it has a power of 20 watts. Its resistance is 125 ohms. And its nominal lifetime is, that's a lot of hours. What is that? 57, 57,600 hours. I don't think those are real life hours. I believe those are in, those are in game hours. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, um, but yeah. So next we have the normal 50 volt incandescent light bulb and it's crafted um, with three glass panes, one tungsten ingot, and one low voltage cable. Um, and this has a range of 14 blocks and its technology is incandescent. It consumes 30 watts of power and it has 83.3 ohms of resistance. And its nominal lifetime is 57,600 hours, so the same as the small one. Now these these light bulbs are a bit these ones here are a bit different than the others. Um, I'll show why over there. It's basically just how they turn on and stuff like that. But yeah, so these are the eco light bulbs or the economic light bulbs. Um, so it's crafted using three gl three glass planes panes and one glowstone dust and one copper cable. Um, I prefer to use these instead of the tungsten ones because the tungsten's kind of hard to find. Um, yep. So, yeah, so this has a range of 12 blocks. Um, technology, eco, range of 12 blocks. It consumes 10 watts of power, so it's a bit more, it's more power efficient. Um, its resistance is fairly high at 200, 250 ohms, and its nominal lifetime is what is that 230,400 hours I think that's how you say that that's a lot of hours um I, I again I believe those are in-game hours if those are real life hours please correct me because if those are real life hours though I don't think I've ever I yeah no that's a lot of real life hours then and then these are the normal economic like bulbs so you so it's crafted using the three glass panes one glow from dust and one low voltage cable, and you get four of them. And so the technology is eco, it has a range of 14 blocks, it consumes 15 watts of power, its resistance is 167 ohms, and it also has a lifetime of 230,400 hours. Uh, lots of hours. There we go, and then this is the last kind of special type of bulb. This is the 50 volt farming lamp. Now, tech, so it's crafted using five glass panes, three tungsten ingots, and one low voltage cable. So that's kind of expensive um, with all that three tungsten in, ingots. Now, it does have a large range and stuff like that. So technology is incandescent. Its range is 15 blocks. It consumes 120 watts of power. That's a lot of watts. And then its resistance is 20.8 20, 20 ohms. And its nominal lifetime is 57,600 hours. So, yeah. And I believe this thing may or may not make plants in its range grow faster. I think, and if it doesn't make them grow faster, then it should. Um, but I think it already does that because why else would it be called the farming lamp? Um, 
Yeah, so those are the light bulbs. Okay, so if you're wondering what that this jump cut's for, um, it's because I almost missed this. I did say I would explain why I was I was missing one type of light bulb, and that is the LED light bulb. And the only reason is because well, yeah, um, you can't really get at this point in the mod. I haven't shown how to get the silicon yet, um, so you can't really craft the LED light bulbs. Now let's move on to how to actually kind of set up a circuit and power these lamps. Let's move over to this side here. So over here, I have a couple extra things you're going to need to be able to actually use these lights. So basically, to be able to use these lights in the most basic way, um, I have the stuff you might need here. Uh, that thing is optional, but yeah. So you need some way to actually provide electricity to them. So here's the single use battery. Now, it's just made using six coal and three copper ingots, and that gives you one single use battery. So it's nominal voltage is 50 volts, nominal power is 500 watts, um, its energy capacity is 120 kilojoules, joules is a unit of energy if you didn't know that, and its internal resistance is, is that 200 milliohms? I, I, I think so, I don't know. I think that might be what that is. Um, there we go. So here, it also has an alternative recipe where you can replace the coal with charcoal. Then the battery looks like this. It's got its positive side, it's got its negative side, and it's got this nice stack of carbon and um, copper. So that's pretty nice. Um, and the special thing about these batteries is they do start, they, you can't charge these batteries. I mean, you can try, but I don't think they'll take the power too well. Um, but yeah, so the nice thing about these is that they start, most of the other batteries in this mod, they start 50% charged. This one, when you craft it, it starts 100% charged. That's why it's called the single use battery, because you can't charge it and it starts 100% charged. Um, it's useful st for starting off though, or used as like backup power, or something like that. Um, I don't think, um, some of the other batteries in this mod I believe they over time they lose power like if you just have a battery sitting there fully charged I believe over time it will slowly lose power. I don't think these ones do that because This battery has been sitting up here for some time and it's still at 100% charge um, Yeah, so this is the when you right-click on them you get a nice GUI and stuff like that I uh, shot pr probably should have shown the GUI of the other lights back there but I didn't because I forgot. Oh well. Um, yeah. So let's just move on to a little tutorial on how to use these things. Okay, sorry for that little jump cut there. Just had a little cough. No, I don't have the corona. But yes, okay. So moving on. So we have this ground cable. Now this is kind of required if you're using batteries. Not kind of, it is required. Um, so yeah, so it's just crafted using um, five copper cable like this. Um, yeah, and that gives you one ground cable. Um, you can read that, so I'll just read it out. So it provides zero, uh, zero volt reference can be used to set a point of an electrical network to a zero volt potential. For example, to ground the negative terminal of a battery contact of battery contacts. And then it says the internal internal resistance. So basically to use the battery, you got to ground that side of the battery, the negative side. Um, yep. So the block looks like this. It's the ground cable. Uh, right clicking it, it does have a spot where you can put a cable, that's to upgrade it. Um, like, normally I believe it's just a uh, fifth, uh, fi uh, brain fart. Um, I believe normally when you just place it down, it counts as one of these low voltage cables, but if you want to use it for like higher power, you can upgrade it with one of these, the different, more powerful cables. Um, yeah, so this, technically optional, but let's just review it anyway. So it's the switch. A low voltage switch and it's just two um two low voltage wire i mean not one wires cables two low voltage cables one rubber and two copper cables and that gives you the low voltage switch and the thing it looks like it well it looks like a light switch it's a light switch i i don't know what else to say yeah so let's just i'm just going to show how to well, before I do this, um, I'm going to show what all of these kind of light... Actually, you know what? Let's do this, and then I can show what all the lights look like without shaders. Um, so these lights, they actually have a little effect surrounding them, but because of my shaders, 
Um, because they're like transparent, the shaders for some reason turns it black, and that's with all like mods that use like the transparent effects or whatever. Um, that's just from the shaders I'm using. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just after I do uh, show you guys how to kind of just basically use the batteries and the lamps and stuff like that. I'll turn off the shaders and show you guys what they're actually supposed to look like. So let's just go here. So got some stuff here. Um, so let's just grab some light bulbs. It's nice. Let's, let's grab some of the low voltage cable. Uh, let's grab a switch. Let's grab a battery and let's grab some lamp sockets. So, so we have a lot. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So let's just start by putting down a battery. Now you can see it's got the positive side and it's got the negative side that can be identified by the little minus there and the oh, turn. There we go. A little plus there. Now basically. Uh, let's just move this a little bit. The, on the minus side of the battery, you will want to. You can put a cable off of that, and you can put a ground cable, or you can just put the ground cable directly. Um, and then for this side, you can have your cable going off of that. Now, this cable is now the negative side, and that's the positive side. And you're going to want to hook this up to your lights or whatever. So let's just put this simple lamp socket here, and right click on it. That's right now it's being supplied by a lamp supply. Um, I will show how to use the lamp supply um, just over there. Um, but yeah, right now let's just click powered by cable. And then, so it's got two slots. So it has a slot for an electrical cable and it has a slot for the lamp. So let's just put um, a small 50 volt carbon incandescent bulb in there. And then let's put some of the low voltage cable. And there you go, it's now on. So you can see we can break it, it's off, it's on. There you go. Um, now if we really want, we can put a switch in between. There we go. So now we can turn it on and off. Nice. So basically the power is coming out of the back. I mean, technically the technically, like technically electricity comes out of the negative side of the battery because ele electricity is electrons are negatively charged and like electrical stuff. But like it's, it's. If you don't like understand electricity too well and stuff like that, it's much simpler to think of it as as a flow coming out of the positive. It just it just makes it easier to understand. But yeah, so basically, power is coming out of this positive side and reaches the switch. The switch is blocking it. Um, so right now, the switch these two wires are are connected, but they're not technically connected. When you flip the switch, now they're technically connected, um, and the power can flow through. So the power can flow through the switch, through this wire, and through this light, run through this lamp, light up the lamp, and then the electricity can flow back through the ground, because all these lamps are technically grounded, so it comes through this wire, into the lamp, and then through the light bulb, and then through the ground, and then to the ground cable, then back into the battery. Um, that's basically the flow. Yeah, so that's very simply how you use the power in this mod. Now, of course, it will get much more complicated once you start using stuff like, um, where is it? I keep forgetting where it is. Where is it? Aha, there it is. Once you start using stuff like the DC to DC converter and stuff like that, and the higher voltages and all of this stuff, once you start using all of that, it'll get more confusing and stuff like that. But what I find is what I find is fun to just if you want to understand it, just go into Creative World on a super flat world uh, with the mod install, then just start playing around with stuff in Creative Mode until you understand it. It's, you know, it's basically that. Let's uh, there's a couple more things I want to do here, um, so let's just set this back up again. Ground cable, switch, switch. There we go. Let's put one of these fluorescent sockets down. And let's use one of these economic light bulbs instead. So you can see when we put the light bulb in, a nice tube appears. Now, if we set to cable, it won't actually connect to the cable unless you put a cable in it. There you go. Uh, why is it not? There we go. Okay. So the special thing about these eco light bulbs is when you turn them on, They flicker on. They don't actually just immediately turn on like the other ones. They flicker on, and I like it. I 
I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. And of course, it doesn't just go for the incandescent one. Uh, you can use these bulbs in any lamp socket. Ooh, and then there, it made that kind of... That's it. It makes a different noise sometimes. But yeah. So that's the... That's basically how you use the power and stuff like that. It's pretty simple once you get a hang of it. And then you can see, if you click on the battery, it'll... It gives us how long um, to, it'll take for it, this to discharge. So you can see this battery will run out in one hour, 30 minutes, and like 17 seconds or whatever. Then it says how much... So right now, those two lamps are using 22 watts of power. And they're using... Um, and this is the amount of power in the battery that's left. Okay, so um, I almost forgot in the video um, to show this off, but basically, you know how on like batteries and stuff like that, it never says short the battery? Well, that applies for this mod too. Don't short the battery because while I am, observe. So don't do that. Your battery will explode. Um, the battery still actually exists though, it doesn't seem to actually be destroyed, which is odd. But yeah, so, and that includes putting a battery down, and don't put, don't put like a negative, don't put a ground terminal there and a ground terminal there. It will also explode, because the ground terminals are technically connected. Um, yeah, so basically, don't short out your batteries, because it will, um, they'll explode, and that's not good. Okay, I have turned my shaders off, and let's just take a look at some of these bulbs here. So, this is the, uh, uh, what's it called again, the robust lamp socket. So, this is the robust lamp socket. Um, you can see without the weird um, messed up effect by the shaders, oh, you can see my lights just kicked on there. Uh, without the weird messed up effect by the shaders, the kind of glow around the lamp actually looks quite good. Um, yeah, so that's the... That's the, um, oh, what's it called again? I keep forgetting the name of things. Uh, the robust lamp socket. Oh, my, my brain is not working the goods today. Whatever. Um, let's go on. So this is the flat lamp socket. So this one doesn't actually have an effect around it. But they do, I do think the, these lights look better when they, um, when used. My brain just, I just had a brain fart again. Oh, my God. Okay, the flat lamp socket. Okay, let's, let's get it together here. Okay, the flint let the flint let bruh. My brain is not good. I need some water. Okay, whatever. After. Okay, so the flint lamp lamp socket looks um it doesn't have an effect around it, so it's not affected by the shaders too bad. Okay, let's let's move on. So this is the simple lamp socket. This one does have an effect around it. Um they look they look pretty nice. Um this is the incandescent, not incandescent, this is the fluorescent lamp socket. Um, yeah. Uh, now this one is the um, street lamp. Uh, it'd be nice, I think it would be cool if like inside a street lamp, when you, once you, the street light or street lamp or whatever you want to call it, once you put a, once you put a bulb in it, a little bulb will like appear in there. I think that might be pretty cool, but yep, so that's the, what's, what is it called? The street light, that's street light, not street lamp, street light, I mean, same thing. Uh, yeah, so this is the the lamp I can't um, pronounce, and you can see it doesn't actually seem like it's producing any light. Uh, that's just a glitch. Um, that's just a glitch. Uh, it, it has nothing to do with electrical age. It has to do with one of the other mods I have installed. But yeah, so that's the lamp socket that I can't pronounce. Uh, that name. Yes, that one. Yeah, okay, so this is the hanging lamp socket. And again, seems to be experiencing that glitch as well. But you can see this one does have the effect around it. And it looks pretty nice. Now this is the longer version of that. So I guess if you have a larger ceiling. Um, and then this is the lamp socket A. And then here's lamp socket B. Now I'll go into some more depth of these lights. Uh, just over here actually. So, um, to fix, now let's just, uh, to fix this glitch, basically, the lights are on, and they count as on, mobs will not spawn around them, even though it doesn't look like they're making light, 
but to fix this little glitch, just like update the lighting by placing like a light source down, like a torch, the break it, there you go. The only light light um, or lamp in this game that doesn't seem to be affected by this glitch is the street light, which I think is weird, but okay. There you go. If we just come over here, I have some stuff set up over here. So to demonstrate this proper, properly, I'm going to need to set it to easy mode. And yeah, so let's just turn this on. Let's update the lighting here pretty, there we go. So you can see I have this light in the middle here and you can see I have this outline here and I'll show you what that's all about. So let's just take like a creeper spawn egg and let's just spawn a creeper in here. Oh, I'm too close, one second. Did I set it to easy? I did. Why is this not working properly? Is my game broken? My game might be broken or am I just messing up? Okay, there we go, it's working now. Uh, maybe it needed to be set to normal, but there we go. So you can see the light's on and a creeper can spawn here, but here, the light actually prevents the mobs from spawning completely actually. Why can't they? Oh, it's because of those lights there. Um, yeah. So the lights just stop mob from mobs from spawning in general. And if we turn it off, it even if the light is off, it seems to still prevent them from spawning in, which might need to be changed. I have no idea if that's the intended effect, but yeah. So let's just make sure that one's off. And the slimes are coming back already. So let's quickly turn this to peaceful. There we go. So that's the lamp. So even though let's set it back to night, uh, I forgot how dark it was. Where's the chest? You know what, let's just grab a torch to fix the lighting around here. There we go. There's the chest, okay. So, I do have some other stuff set up around here. So, if you click on the, if you click on the lights and hold shift, you can see that they have that thing that says spot range. And I'll show you what that's about. So if you click here, let's just fix that, there you go. So you can see, it seems like the light source, when it's placed on like this, the light seems to be emanating from around this block here. And how far is that away? Let's count. One, two, three. It's basically what the spot range is. So this light will produce its light source here. Um, yep. So that's basically it. Um, if you place if you place a block, the light source will get closer to the light. Um, and again, you, if you do not, um, uh, later on the mod, I have dragon AIP, uh, that I, from testing it, I believe that is what's causing this. Um, but yeah, I tried to remove dragon AIP, but all I got was this. So yeah, not, not, that wasn't fun, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, so you can see all the lights. So this one, this has a spot range of three blocks. So you can see three blocks away, three blocks away. Uh, there you go. So that one's three blocks away. This one is actually four blocks away. So let's turn this one on and this one. So you can see the light source is coming from there. It's clearly coming out further than this one. So that one makes can pretty much, this one can shine its light up to four blocks away, basically. Um, this one, is back up to th back down to three blocks and yeah so this um this light here lamp socket a this one is a floor four block one so it's coming from four blocks away now this light here the projector one if you click on it and hold you can see it actually has a spot range of 10 blocks away because it's well a projector lamp um uh, so let's just update the lighting there you go so you can see, I, I don't know fully, but I'm going to assume that's 10 blocks away. Um, and then something nice you can do from it is you can adjust the angle of the light. But before I do that, um, let's just come over here. So I have a couple more lights over here, the hanging ones. Um, let's just update the lighting. There we go. So you can see, uh, let's see here. So spot range two blocks. So you can see one, two, three. The, this one is making its light come from three blocks away. Don't know why those don't make 
switch sounds but there you go and you can see the long one is indeed making its light um well one two three four blocks away um yeah so that's basically it now let's just um grab our torch again and let's just hop over the wall here oh i can't see a thing there we go so i just have this little thing set up here just to show an unobstructed view of this so let's just kind of click and move so you can see you can adjust the angle of it and it's gone again there you go so yeah that's pretty neat you can so the projector lights are good for if you have a very tall ceiling in a building or you're trying to light something up from a distance uh these things are pretty good for doing that so let's just head back in here um yep so let's just go here okay so this video is almost over let's just make it morning a bit quicker there we go so yeah so now that i'm done with all the light stuff um let's turn the shaders back on okay so the shaders are back on nice just come over here so i just showed all the light i kept the shaders off for this part because it's easier to see where the light is coming from without the shaders so let's just go on here so uh, those blocks have turned invisible again oh whatever it doesn't matter um yep so uh, what was i going to say um yes so these lamps here so you can see these lights here they're not actually connected to anything with wires and you can see they're being controlled from these weird button looking things um that all has to do with the lamp supply which is this block here this is the lamp supply now let's just show how to craft it so this is crafted it's pretty simple it's just crafted with four iron ingots and one copper ingot and this thing is very useful because like if you're going to have a lot of lights around like these you can see these lights here they don't actually have any wires connected to them that's because they're connected to a lamp supply that's over there i'll go show what that's about um yeah so when you get let's just place it here so when you get close to it the little door on it opens which i think that's pretty neat yeah that's pretty cool now if you click on it you can see there's all sorts of stuff in here all sorts of buttons and stuff like that and all sorts of stuff to put names i'll I'll explain what this is about in a second. Um, yeah, I'll show. Yeah, I'll just give a little demonstration on how to use this, the lamp supply. Now, before I do that, there's something else I want to show. Now, these are paintbrushes. Now, you can see if you hold shift. Um, before I do that, um, it's pretty much crafted just one ironing it, one wool, and of course, there's a bunch of different colors, all of the Minecraft colors, and it's basically. To change the color, you just put uh, a type of dye, and then you put the white brush or the white brush that's crafted like this, um, and can paint infinite blocks. Before, uh, in earlier versions of the mod, um, these used to just paint a. Um, I f I don't remember how many exactly, but they used to. They didn't used to be able to paint infinite blocks. Now I am using the newest version of the um, Electrical Age mod which was released recently in 2020 um, because the mod is being developed again which is nice to hear and apparently I, it may or may not but uh, in the maybe near future the mod might um, it's no longer it's going to with next update it's going to not be uh, what version of Minecraft I'm in right now it's 1.10 10, well, no, 1.7.10 I'm in right now. Um, so that is the current version of the mod. Um, and I believe on the next like release or something like that, it's going to be uh, the newest version of Minecraft, which is like 1.15.4? Like, I don't know. I haven't played the newest version of Minecraft in a bit. Um, yeah, I should, I should take a look at that stuff. But yep, yeah, so yeah let's just grab let's just grab yourself like a red brush and like a white brush and let's just grab yourself uh let's just grab some wire over here so there we go so let's say you have two lines of wire but let's say you need to run two different lines of wire but um one of them is a different voltage than the other and you're constricted to two spaces. Now you can't do that because they'll 
connect. So what you can do is you can paint the wires a different color and they won't connect. It's pretty simple. And so this allows you to build complicated circuits in tighter spaces without having your wires join. And if you hold C, you can, if you hold C, which is um, if you go into the control setting and scroll down to electrical age, um, it has two buttons there. So if you hold X, um, it opens up this little thing, which just kind of shows everything in the mod. It shows the up, and you can basically, like if we click on the wire here, it shows the crafting recipes, and it can be, sh why isn't this scrolling down? But yeah, it can show the, yeah. And then it also has like a search bar and stuff like that. So pretty neat. It kind of has its own in-game kind of, kind of like, almost like NEI and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. It shows you the crafting recipes and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so if you hold C, which is one of the other controls in the options, um, it's the wrench button. Pretty much right clicking will allow you to change the wire color care. So if it's set to one, they won't connect. If it's set to zero, it they don't care what color, it the, this wire won't care what color the other wire around it are, and it will connect to any other color of wire. Um, yep. And then it, this can also be done with the wrench, which is just crafted using um, four iron ingots. There. So, yep. And let's just say, let's grab some brick here. So let's say you have, you want to get some wire into a building coming from somewhere. So you can't, you don't want to just have a hole in your wall, because that's not good. Uh, let's set it to day again. There we go. So you can't just have a hole in your wall because that's not too good. So if you hold C and right click with a block, it will um, cover it and it still goes through there. And you can place these wires in all sorts of neat ways like there you go. And if you hold C, it still covers that up. So yeah, the, that's pretty cool. Now... It does have some issues. So let's say you want you want a wire to go down into the ground and you try and cover it with a grass block. It's gray because funny enough, the actual texture for the grass block in Minecraft is well um gray, but it's just like if you if you've noticed like different biomes have different color grass, that's how it changes just like the color of the gray to like different shades of green. Um yeah. But this could be easily changed with a texture pack. You could fix that with a texture pack easily. Um, yeah, or actually they're called resource packs now, aren't they? Um, yep, yeah, so that's basically some of the neat stuff you can do with wire. Um, before I just show how to use the light, um, the light, the lamps, the lamp supply it's called, let's just quickly zoom back to the start so I can show you something there. So before I actually show how to use the lamp supply, I want to show how I used it. Before, well, before I show how you use it, I want to show what I used it for. There, that's better. So you can see this little thing here. So you can see there's all sorts of these lights and stuff like that around that I have all around and stuff like that. When it turns to night, they turn on. When it turns day, they turn off. And now that has to do with this little thing here. So you can see this little thing here is a daylight sensor. It basically, uh, when it senses the sunlight, it tells this thing to basically, this is basically an automatic switch. It's called a relay. Basically the sensor, the sunlight sensor tells this thing to open up, which means turn off the lights. Then at night, just kind of angle this in such a way you can see it when it sets to night you can see it closes. When it's set today, it opens. So that's kind of the neat stuff you can do with automation as a small ad. I'll get into the automation and stuff like that and all the signals and stuff like that um, later on. So, and this lamp supply here is used to basically um, wirelessly power all of these lamps, but it's not as easy as just placing it down and then it works. Um, yeah, so let's just move back over here Okay, so uh, let's just grab this lamp supply and let's just place it down there. Um, and let's, what should I use? Uh, let's, let's use one of these 
Street lights. Um, look how big it is in my hands. Why does this look like an F5? <laughs> I have a lamp. Yeah, no. That looks pretty fun funny. Um, yeah. So let's just grab some of these things. Uh, that's all I need. Oh, I also need wire. And that should be good, too. Okay. So let's just... So this thing... Why is it not taking... Oh, yeah, that's why. So you can see that little black dot on the bottom is where it takes in its power. Um, so let's just put that in there so you can see, no, just give back there. So you can see, let's just place four there. You can see it takes it in all four sides. So if you place that down, it only connects to the bottom, but if you hold C, you can change that. Um, or you can, of course, just use the wrench. The wrench is kind of useless since you have the wrench button. Yeah can be used to turn small wall blocks. Yeah, so it allows you to rotate blocks, um, including stuff like these. These can be rotated by holding C2 or using the wrench. Um, yeah, so let's think take the power from the bottom. Let's just put the street light here. Uh, let's just grab a light. There we go, let's grab some of those. So let's put our battery. Uh, let's place it the other way. Let's put our switch, and there we go. Let's just connect all this up. Uh, let's take this out of here. There we go. So first, we want we want to we want this to be able to be able to choose which lights it's powered. So we need to create a ch power channel name. So let's just call this a um uh ah. No, S, there we go. Yes, lights, there we go. Now, exiting out will clear it. So, um, ah, I hate this keyboard. There we go. Okay, so before just clicking escape, you wanna click enter first and then it will save it. Now, on its own, it won't actually work. So, if you hold shift here, you can see supplies all lamps on the channel. Um, let's press it. How do I turn this off? It's zero, right? Yes, there we go. Okay, so just allow you to see that better. So electrical cable slot. So base range is 32 blocks. So um, without with only with only one cable in there, you will get 32 blocks of range. So it can connect to, in 32 blocks of range, it can wirelessly supply lamps. Um, and each additional cable will um, increase that by one. So you can just kind of, there we go. Now you have like whatever, whatever, um, 32 plus like 63 or whatever is, then you get that. Um, so now we have you, so by filling that up, you can get the maximum range of like, I don't know, whatever 32 plus 64 is. I'm not in the mood for doing math right now, even if it's simple math. Um, just put a ground cable there. There we go. So you can see we have little, yes lights. Now let's put this one, let's call this one, yes lights there we go so it says cable slot is empty make sure to click enter once you've pressed your thing now the neat thing about this is once you put it in once and clicked enter the other lights you place down they will also you won't have to put it in again so that's pretty nice and it will prevent you from having to like copy paste it in a bunch of times um yeah, there we go so let's put our let's keep this as powered by lamp supply let's put a light in that in there no, a light and a cable in there. Okay, so let's turn this on now. There we go. So that's the lamp supply. It allows you to wirelessly supply as many lamps as you want. Now, here we go. So that's, there's also, uh, later on, once we get into the signals and stuff like that, I'll explain how to use the wireless channels. That's for, um, that's for using a wireless switch to wirelessly turn these lights on and off. And this thing can supply up to three different power channels at once. Um, yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah, now I'm just going to, because this mod does have a config file and it does have some commands. So, yeah, first let's just look at the command. So basically type slash ELN and just click enter. And then it gives you a list of commands. 
So you can you can play around with those. Um, I believe most of those commands uh, have to do with things in the in the config file. So yeah, let's just I'm just going to hop over to the config file and show you what that's about. Okay, so we're in the config file here. So there's a, there's a lot of stuff here. I'll do my best to explain all of this. I don't I don't understand all of this either, but let's just try to figure it out. So here we have balancing stuff. So um, these are just conversion ratios. I think I don't know what this has to do with. Um, maybe this has to do with the power converters. Or it has to do with resources. I don't know, but you know. So this is the maximum horizontal distance from the auto miner that will be mined. Um, the auto miner is a late game item that well automatically mines. You could choose its range. Um, multiplication factor for cable power capacity. Okay. Um, like you can change. I believe this is the amount of um power the cables can do. So you can change that. Um. And there's also fuel generator power factor, so you can choose like the amount of uh, power these things go by. I believe one is just like times one by putting it at a two would be times two. I I don't know if that's how that works. Maybe you know. So factor to apply when converting real world heat values to Minecraft heat values. So one millibucket equals eleven. Is that eleven? Who knows. Um, but yeah, you can. I don't understand this one. Um, display detailed whaler for, for inf for on. Uh, display more detailed whaler info on some machines. Um, just I don't. I don't. Uh, I think I know what that means. Whaler is the thing where, like, at the top of your, at the top of your screen, it shows a um, like whatever you're looking at. I believe, whaler stands for like what am I looking at? Yes, that is correct. Um. But I will at easy mode. I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, so batteries. How long it takes for a battery to decay halfway? I think this has to do with like if you just have like a fully charged battery sitting there and a, um, how long it will take for it to lose it and go down to like 50% charge. And right now that's normally set to two days. Compatibility, so computer probe enabled. Um, yes, yeah, so that allows, a, um, I believe, an open computer. Open Computers is a Minecraft mod that allows you to like make a computer and program it. Um, I think that's what that has to do. You can uh, like uh, use the computer to do stuff with the signals and stuff like that. Um, ELN to other energy converter. Um, that that's a block that allows you to convert the power from electrical age into like let's say um, RF. So it allows you to convert the electrical age power to redstone flux. Um, debug I. I mean, turn that on, turns debug mode on. I don't know what that, I've never turned that on. I don't know what that might do, but yeah, I don't know what stuff debug mode changes, but it's debug mode. Um, then we have max sound distance. So I believe that's blocks. So the max sound distance heard can be 16. Hmm, okay. Um, diction, well, so that this has to do with the or dictionary, I think. So chips, true, this isn't potato chips. This is chips, this isn't like computer chips. Um, I believe setting this to true will allow you to be able to use them in place of the chips from like, let's say, industrial craft or whatever. Um, tungsten false. This will, by setting this to false, it will not allow you to use um, electrical age tungsten with other mods tungsten. Um, you might want to set that to true. I don't know. Um, entity. So kill monsters around lamps. True. Kill monsters around lamp range. Nine. Um, replicators are mobs. I should have probably shown off the replicators, but I'll do that um, next episode when I'm show how to like generate power and stuff like that. Uh, but I'll just explain it right now. Replicators are little mobs that will go to your power cables and will suck the power out of them. Um, so replicator ID minus one, okay. Replicator pop true, don't know what that is. And replicator pop when thunder per second. Uh, is is that mean pop by population? I don't. I don't know that part. Um, fuel generator, tank capacity in seconds at nominal power. I would get tank capacity, but in seconds? Does that mean how much it'll... So does that mean like when the tank's full, how many seconds it will take for the thing to use it up? I don't know. 
um, gameplay explosions true, uh, that just makes things a little bit more dangerous. Like if you should have probably shown it in this episode, but when you connect two battery, when you connect some batteries together, they will well explode if you short out your batteries. Now, actually, you know what? I'll probably go back in through editing and add that in. Um, gameplay. So select that to true just to add a little bit of more danger to your Minecraft. Now, general um, analytics enabled. I sure no symbols false i does no symbols that get rid of like the ohms ohm symbols and stuff like that no voltage background i don't know what that mean that stuff has to do lamp um this is just has to do yeah so lamp life and hours um so the carbon will last i think that six hours in real life economic will last 64 hours in real life the incandescence will last 60 hours in real life and the led life and hours will last there are led lights um, LED lights will last um, 512 hours in real life or you can just set it to unlimited if you want and then, then map generate it does say it would it does say on map generate it does say cinnabar true but I couldn't find any so maybe it's just really really rare um, yeah so you can choose force or regen I don't know what that means does that mean like the ores will re reappear back in the world maybe mod bus I don't know what that's for simulation um again I I wouldn't change any any of this stuff are you wireless um the wireless transmitters you can change their range x-ray scanner config add or okay so yeah so um like about half of this stuff I don't understand what it might be for the others I mean I think I have an idea on some of the stuff but yeah it's, it's just this is just the config um if you don't have to, I wouldn't suggest playing around with it. So that's the end of this Electrical Age tutorial video. Um, in the next video, I'll be going over power generation. Instead of just using batteries, I'm actually going to be showing how to actually generate power instead of just like batteries. I just said that twice, didn't I? Uh, whatever. Um, so like if you like the video, subscribe if you want, and thank you for watching.